I've noticed within the last 10, 15 years even, um, students being lazy uh, more than usual. I blame social media and things like this when you can scroll and see magicians. And I'm talking musical magicians. People that just play their instrument like, oh my God, I just picked it up and I'm amazing. It's not the way it works. Yes, you'll have a small percentage of super freaks uh, that are just amazing and they're, they're two years old, whatever. That's this many people. It's like two people every 10 years. I don't know, whatever. But a lot of my students come week after week without improving at all because they don't play the guitar. They expect to be a brilliant musician like the Instagram heroes in no time with no practice. It doesn't work like this. You gotta put in the time. Which brings me to my point. I used to practice anywhere from four to eight hours a day when I had the chance, at least a few hours a day for a long time. And I realize 30 years later, you don't need to practice that much. You just need to practice focused. Um, let's say, I know everyone doesn't have the time. I was lucky enough to have the time to practice that much, but let's say you don't. Let's say you play 30 minutes a day the main focus is fun. You want to enjoy it. You want to have fun playing the guitar. But if you've got 30 minutes, let's say you do five minutes of an exercise or two exercises. What I would suggest is that you take that five minutes to warm up your hands, but do it with an exercise that you suck at. Maybe you do the same exercise every morning for a week, then you change to a different exercise. The idea is that you're constantly pushing yourself a little bit. Then for the rest of the time, learn a song or you know play that same song you've been learning over and over again to try and get it. But you've got to have fun. You've got to enjoy it and you've got to make sure that you're moving forward. If you're not challenging yourself, it's, it's a bit difficult to, to keep moving up. And this is up to how far you want to go. Up to how far? Ah, whatever. <laughs> like if you want to be the best guitarist in the world, yes, you have to put in the time and effort. If you just want to play... Cool. After six months of a bit of practice, you should be able to do that. Um, but I'm talking mainly the people who want to push their playing, you know, keep pushing next level stuff. So create a schedule, write down a list of exercises that you like or that you think are good or your teacher has told you about that push you in the direction you want to go and do it with a metronome or more, more fun is doing it with a drum machine because it's a little bit more musical than tick, 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 which is boring. Still a good idea. I'm not against metronomes. Drum machines are more fun though. So then you do your exercises and keep a journal. It's a good idea. I can do this exercise at 90 BPM. I can do this one at 65, whatever. But then look at it. Every time you go to play, you can make a note or just do it once a week. After a few months, you go, oh, hang on, now I can do it at 110 BPM. So I've, I've actually improved. Um, yes, so when you're practicing, focus, no screen, unless that's got your metronome on it. Don't have your iPhone there, don't have a movie in front of you. I used to practice in front of movies all the time. I still kind of tell students that you can practice in front of a TV. You, know, you can, but if you're wanting to really practice and focus, just you and the guitar, that's all you want, and a metronome or drum machine. Anyway, that's it. Try not to be, you know, try not to have your phone going off with all your messages and notifications just next to you because you want to pick it up and you've just ruined your little focus session. Anyway, that's enough. That's all I'm going to talk about. Do that, improve, and yeah, get better faster. Hit me up for lessons if you want to go deeper and uh, yeah, take it easy. See you next time. Cheers.